I'm not trying to jump the gun here, but you are going to need to know how to end your AutoCAD session. I know you haven't even really started yet. Well, it's still important. Just like there are several ways to open a file in AutoCAD, there are several different ways to save your file and to close it. In fact, they're very similar to each other. There are two main ways to stop using AutoCAD. They are the close and or the exit command. You can type either one on the command line. Just type close or exit. They're similar yet different, of course. If you have several files open and you close, then only the current file will go away. On the other hand, if you type in exit, every file will close and so will AutoCAD. So close is to close your file, the current one, and exit is to leave AutoCAD, therefore closing all of your other files. There's also a close all command that will shut down all of your files but leave AutoCAD open. Just type in close all. With either of these commands, if you have made changes to the file but haven't saved the file yet, AutoCAD will ask you if you want to save them. Now a change in AutoCAD even for this case could be a simple thing as panning your drawing or zooming in or out. So if you open the file and zoomed out or just panned, that's a change from AutoCAD's perspective because you're changing the view. So that may come into an account. You can click no if you don't want to save any of the changes or just click yes. Clicking the cancel option will just stop the closing process and put you back into your drawing where you were. You can also click on the X right here in the top right corner. This will close the file. So if I click it, say no, I don't want to save changes in this case, it closes that file and opens up one of my other files that I'm currently accessing. If you don't have anything opened, for example, if I continue to close all of these, this is what you'll get. You'll get a top bar here, no command line, but you can always go to File Open or File New. So that's what you'll get. While you're working and long before you are through for the day, you need to save your work. One of the most important tips that I can give you is to save your work, save your work, save your work, save your work. Remember, you must save early and you must save often. Get into the habit of saving every five to 10 minutes. AutoCAD has an auto save feature, but I found it to be unreliable, if it ever works really. So there are several ways to save a file. You can click on the save button in the quick access toolbar, which is right here. That will save your file. When you do save your file, AutoCAD will tell you that you've saved it here in the command line. If you click the Save As button, it will open up a prompt in your window and it will ask you what you want to call it and where you want to save it. Just type all that information in and click Save. So really that's the Save command. It's also the Save As. But the other one is the queue save. A queue save is what you want to do. Just press Enter. It will save the file that you're working in at its current location with its current name and overwrite whatever was there before. So if you don't want to save a history of your files and you just want to save it like it is very quickly, then do that. Do the queue save. And the queue save is the same as clicking on the save button right here. As you can see, it says save, saves the current drawing. It's also the queue save. You can also come to the application menu, click save, which is a queue save, or save as. Now, since we're working in Windows-based AutoCAD, you can also press Control and S at the same time. That's a queue save. That's what I do. While I'm working, I'm drawing lines, circles, trims, edits, copies, paste, whatever. Control S. More lines, some dimensions, I'm moving, I'm zooming, I'm panning. Control S. I've gotten myself into the habit of using Control and S on the keyboard very regularly. It has saved me time and time again because AutoCAD will crash. You will lose your work. I was working with a gentleman the other day when he had an issue 
And while I was trying to help him, all of a sudden AutoCAD just crashed. Well, he panicked because it had been over three hours since he had saved. He lost nearly a half day's worth of work, and it was going to take him another three hours to redo what he had done. So it took him all day to do what should have been done in a half a day. That's how important saving is.